It's August 21, and today in Philippine history, Pinigno Aquino, former senator and opposition leader, was slain in 1983. After being in jail for seven years and seven months, in 1980, Ninoy Aquino had a heart attack. Imelda Marcos arranged for his surgery and recuperation in the U.S. For three years, Aquino lived in self-exile, speaking critically of martial law and its after-effects in academic circles. Aquino had to return to the Philippines in 1983, but he was not given a new passport. And really issued an advisory to airlines not to let Aquino board. It took a Malaysian passport under a fake name and a roundabout itinerary from Boston to LA to Japan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Singapore again, Hong Kong again, and then Taipei before Aquino could finally fly to Manila. Aquino and his supporters were aware of the threat of assassination and foreign journalists were in the aircraft and were waiting for him at the airport as a safeguard. His interviews were foreboding of what lay ahead. While being escorted from the aircraft to the vehicle, that was to transport him to prison. Aquino disappeared from the view of video cameras, followed by chaos. The cameras captured the audio of one soldier screaming several times, Pusila, Cebuano 4, shoot him. Marcos ordered the investigation of the slaying. The first was the Fernando Commission, but the justices resigned. Arturo Tolentino declined to lead an investigative group. The Agrava Fact-Finding Board, led by Justice Corazon Agrava, finally held public hearings and ruled the event as a military conspiracy and not a communist hit job by the supposed trigger man, Rolando Galman. The case was endorsed to the Sandigan Bayan. In 1985, military personnel, including Marcos Chief of Staff General Fabian Ver, were briefly tried by the Sandigan Bayan and immediately acquitted. The case was retried after the Edson Revolution and in 1991, the Supreme Court convicted 16 soldiers to life imprisonment. The trigger man was identified as Ninoy's security escort, Rogelio Moreno, who was the mastermind. The Agrava Board pointed to General Ver as the highest official who actively participated in the military conspiracy to assassinate Aquino. In 1986, Ver and other soldiers were indicted for murder. But because Ver fled with the Marcoses, the Sandigan Bayan could not pass judgment on him for lack of jurisdiction. Ver never returned to the country and he passed away in Bangkok in 1998. He was never convicted. The death of Ninoy Aquino, a national politician and a son of Tarla, and to a lesser extent, the slaying of Evelio Javier, the beloved governor of Antique, strengthened the national movement against the Marcoses' 21 years regime. Explore YouTube for archival videos and Supreme Court case decisions for details on the case if you want to know more. The suppression of facts that happened immediately after the slaying has made this case a puzzle that has spanned generations. Huwag na tayong pumayag sa kawalan ng parusa para sa mga nagkasala at nagkakasala dahil lang meron silang kapangyarihan. O diba? Meow meow.